Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Let Me Clarify Podcast. I am your host, Michael Achumba. It is good to have you here. Let Me Clarify is a podcast that focuses on finding the middle of the road, concerning Christian doctrines and everything, faith, love, hope, and of course, Jesus. And I hope you are going to have a wonderful time tuning in. Today, we'll be talking about hope. Um, we'll be starting a series on hope, and I hope this series blesses you as much as it will bless me. In this series, we'll be exploring what hope is, how to come upon it, and what our hope should be in, and what that means for us in the long run. And I really pray that for everyone who is going through a hard time or going through um difficult times we'll be able to have some light at the end of the tunnel and some fortitude to go through whatever they're going through with no further ado let's get right into it i would like to start today's episode with a prayer pray that god would open our eyes to see wondrous things out of his law and I pray that God will give everyone going through a hard time faith to see beyond where they are right now, strength to go through it, and of course, a spirit that is able to break through and not get depressed by what is happening towards them. In Jesus' name, amen. So I would like to read to a text for today. Um, I'll be using the NIV today. So the first text will be from 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 13 popular scripture. Um, it, it says, And now these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Second text would be Hebrews 11.1, also a popular scripture. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. I would like to, first of all, see that what the word hope means is vast it has about four different meanings and what it's understood as in contemporary times has become more and more around what we call wishing or um i think the word is wishing where we just we just want things to be better in the future we just want things to be some way later on we are not sure it's going to be that way, but we just, like we say, hope for the best. So I would start by reading through the verb hope. Um, some of the definitions so that we can see where we deviate from the Bible and then we can now build on that. So hope, the verb, um, has four major meanings. One is to want something to happen with a sense of expectation that it might. So, not sure. And it's also to be optimistic. Now, um, it's to place confidence, to trust with confident expectation of good, usually followed by in. So, that's to hope in something. And of course, to wish. So, it can be used in so I wish you all the best. You can say, I hope you all the best. So, um, over time, hope has always, always committed, um, something wishful, something you want to happen or you think could happen and you are expecting it to happen without. So the idea of surety and confidence is something that is very, very rarely 
mixed with hope. But in the Bible, um, the word that is translated hope actually means confidence. So in more modern translations, most of the places where the King James will say the hope is going to say confidence. And that, that could not something completely different from what we know as hope. And th that brings us to why hope is important to us as Christians. I read the first um, text that says First Corinthians 13, I think, verse 13. It says, when everything is gone, faith, hope, and love would remain. That tells us that hope is something that we carry beyond where we are right now and what we are doing right now. It's something that is eternal, just like faith is, just like love is. And it's important for us to really get a feel of what this actually means. So the third de definition of hope seems to be what the Bible refers to when it uses the word hope, which is to place confidence, to trust with confident expectation. And it says usually followed by in. So you have to have hope in something. You have to have confidence in something. So when the Bible says faith is substance of things hoped for, it means faith is how you act when you have hope. I know we, we just finished a faith series, and I think we will quote that scripture, faith is the substance of things hoped for. So faith actually is how I act, talk, move, walk when I have hope in Christ. That is a beautiful definition of what faith is. So you as an individual, as a Christian, it is, is imperative that you have hope. Like hope is, is, is fundamental to your workings as a Christian. Hope is totally fundamental to it. It is the bedrock of, it is the bedrock of faith that we have it is we can't have faith if we do not believe in something we don't hope in something and as christians our hope is in of course god and more specifically in christ jesus who died for us who gave his life for us and has given us promises upon promises upon promises Hope is something that comes when we latch on to promises and have confidence in those promises. All throughout the scriptures, there are promises from uh, Genesis down to Revelation. There are specific promises that we can place our hope in, our trust in, our confidence on. And it's one of the reasons why um faith and hope cannot be exactly separated from each other it's one of the reasons why i decided that it would be so helpful for us to explore hope just after speaking about faith because we we need to understand how do we how do we come upon faith like we do? It's, it means we need to have some kind of confidence in what we are putting our trust in. That, that's, that's, why, that's why hope is so, so important. I, every time I think of it and I meet people, people tend to see life based on how much hope they have about their lives to so people who have 
hope that they could make something out of their life behave in the now differently for somebody who has hope that nothing good is going to come out. So I know there is a connotation of hope being always positive, but if you have confidence in something bad happening, it's still some sort of hope. Some people believe in um, some sort of apocalypse. The hope that the world is going to be destroyed at some point, and because of that, they are taking measures to mitigate the risk around them and their lives so you can see what we have confidence in what our hope is what shapes our life our everyday life a very good example i would use a personal example or a simple i think i should just use a simple example so when a mother or a wife gets pregnant there is a hope that in nine months there will be a delivery of that pregnancy that hope is a confidence that between the 38th week and the 42nd week a child will be born to that woman from the point of conception and all of her activities for the next nine months will be predicated on that hope. Watch this. One, she stops taking alcohol in the now for the hope that is to come. Two, she decides that she no longer needs to work as strenuous as she used to. She probably gets somebody to help in the house. Before then, she could go to the market in the morning on Saturday, come back by 10, cook all day till 3, 4, prepare, walk around the house, still wash some clothes, if you see housewife kind of person, and do all of that. And she's working all day from morning till, say, 4 in the evening on Saturdays because she has to work all week. And now this is her time to put the house in order. But now she needs to get someone or she has to pull back on all of those and build it small. Why? Because they think hope that there's something happening in the future and I don't want to truncate that thing from happening. That is what hope does for us as Christians. So if we have a hope of resurrection, in First Thessalonians, Paul is speaking to the Christians in Thessalonica and saying, if we do not have a hope of resurrection, we're not going to get resurrected, we're not going to have new bodies, then our all we, what we are doing here is a waste of time. It is that hope that at the end of this we're going to spend time with jesus we're going to have a new body we're going to be resurrected we're going to participate in that resurrection in that new life our lives are new on the inside what we're going to be swallowed up in the newness where our bodies our souls and our spirits are completely new just the way jesus was when he resurrected that is the goal and it's something we are working towards and it's because of that that i am running away from iniquity now because my i want my body to be flawless it's because of that i am saying no to certain things now because i want my body to be flawless and it is that confidence that we would have that that produces the actions that we have the faith that we have in the now so if you do not have any hope no confidence in some future event how do you activate the faith in the now in the today in this moment this is where people miss out on being able to 
go through hard times, struggling times. This is where people miss out on being able to stay the course. Every single person who goes into school is expecting to graduate in a certain period of time. And that is that hope that keeps them running through. Every person who goes to the market is going to the market because he has a hope of getting stew or soup ready. And this is that hope that makes the person in the now get money, get in a taxi or drive down to the market, buy certain foods, get back, put on the gas and prepare all that in the hope of eating a meal. So my question to you today is, do you have hope? What is your hope? What is your hope in? What is your confidence? You need that in this life. Life is hard. Trust me, life can be hard. You may have to go through trials and temptations. We do must have to go through trials and temptations. It's not me. It's guaranteed. In this world, you will have issues that's what jesus promised us but be of good share i have overcome the world it is that hope of being an overcomer at the end that helps us go through this so find your hope while going through the scriptures what is that you what are those promises that you can embrace and hold on to that would activate your faith in the now and i pray that as you do that you'll be able to Go through life with your head held up high. And I pray that every single thing that you need will come in time. God bless you.